Back at the safety of our lovely little forest, there's a new um, thingy-majigger coming onto the map right there. Let's go ahead and save that real quick. Derp. Oh, I don't know why it's all in caps. I'm gonna blame the cat. We do have a quest to turn in from, I don't know, like a week ago or something, so we'll start the day off with that. Ooh, what do we want? I mean, honestly, I guess we could take this guy just to sell. Either of those we could take to sell. Um, because crafting is useless. I guess we'll just take another auger. We already have one. It doesn't really matter. Ah, oh, goodness. Are there any nearby? We could take a tier 5 infested that's nearby. I have a dilemma. The Mortician's House. I don't God honestly wish. remember if we've done that one, so... I'm just going to accept it, and if we already have, by the time we get there, uh, well... I, I guess we'll figure it out. Whatever. I'm not I'm not worried about it. We're probably not going to go there right away, though. Oh, look at that. Timed charges. I haven't seen these in forever. Let's buy a few, because they save me time. And maybe we'll have to, to make some. Oh, sure. Buy a jar of honey, too. What I was planning on doing today, after we are done shopping, is uh, checking to see... Much obliged, All the things that we need to do back at the base. Let's see, there was something that... I think it wasn't here. It was uh, maybe down... Oh, hi. Yeah, I know. It's fine. We'll be okay. It'll go out in a minute. I keep meaning to do this, because... Uh, I don't I don't even... Gosh, I'm terrible. I don't remember now who was the one who said you can... Let's see, you can get in here somewhere. I assume one of the doors is unlocked or something. No, maybe not. Okay. I thought there was something to do with um, getting inside and a fireplace, and then you could, you know, uh, actually get behind the counter and take his stuff. I mean, obviously, I'm not going to feel as badly about it if I yank his stuff compared to Trader Jen's. Why? I don't know. Actually, Trader Joel's cool. I don't, I don't need to steal his stuff. I don't remember what the deal was now. I thought there was something about... Yeah, I know. Yeah, I don't know. Whatever. I don't remember. I don't remember, and I, I don't have the the comment up at the moment to help me figure out what the deal was with that. Like, I don't see any of these windows, etc., any way of getting in right now. So I'm just, I'm not going to sweat it. We're okay. We're fine. Let's go back to the base. We have things to do there anyway. Ooh, workbench. So we'll start off today with the thing that makes the least sense out of anything, and that's uh, farming, because who gives a flying corn cob? Not really me so much. I mean, we've been doing this, and I'm still not entirely sure why, because, yeah, I mean, we're not really getting a lot of seeds, even though we actually are pretty good from the standpoint of being able to get that stuff. I mean, we do have, um, you know, like a point or two into farming, right? I think we did a point or two into farming. Yeah, we did one. So we should get some seeds back, right? I don't know. Whatever. I mean, we have a ton of... I think we have the whole farming thing done. Hi, kitty. But the reality is, like, it doesn't really matter that much because we keep getting these boxes of food. And then, look at that. There's ten shepherd's pies. Those are... I don't know. That's a lot of nutrition right there, is what that is. So we're just going to throw all those in there, and I don't think I'm going to worry right this moment. Cat, whenever you want to let go of my hand with your claws, that'd be great. It'd be fantastic, actually. I don't think we're going to worry too much about food right now. I mean, we'll eat a couple of those, and then here we'll eat uh, maybe one or two of these as well. And we'll be fine on food and water for a little while. I think what I'd rather do today is grab out of this box. No, this box. Yeah, this box. Oil shale. There we go. That's it. I stopped on the way back to the base and I grabbed some oil because I thought that might not be a bad idea. Thanks. She's now trying to bite my hand. Cat, yeah, you're not even supposed to be on the desk. Let's just make sure you understand the rules correctly, okay? We'll go ahead and mix one of those guys up and grab our frame back. One of the changes with the most recent patch was the cost of this stuff, which... And and the time, I think. I don't know. It takes less time now. I'm pretty sure about that. Oh, I forgot about you. Oh, you delightful, adorable thing, you. 
But I don't know if it costs more now, maybe? I don't know. I, I don't remember what it cost before, and sometimes the patch notes... I don't know how to read them. They're they're weird. I feel like no one knows how to write patch notes that make any sense to me. I'm just an idiot, though, so what do I know? Let's go ahead and read our robotic drone mod medical assistant schematic. And then let's see what it takes to make one of those. So, uh, medical... Robotic drone medic mod. We need some steel polymers, electrical parts, and mechanical parts. I mean, that's all pretty easy to do. I think that was one of the things. That was one of the things. Electrical and mechanical. There you go. So let's go ahead and craft one of those guys. And then we'll actually be able to use that stupid droid mod thing, whatever, that we got like ages ago. Sort of kind of pretended to use and then didn't care because it couldn't really do anything. And quite frankly, I didn't really care that it would just, you know, store a few extra things. Like, eh, whatever. I'm, I'm fine with things the way they were. Ooh, yeah, we need a little more time in there. Here, we'll just give you a few more minutes and we'll worry about filling that out later. Here, let's go and put our auger in there. This is our spare auger. This is otherwise known as the spogger. It's a spare auger. Actually, that might have been a good idea to grab one. I don't know. This one is better, so I guess we'll use that one. I mean, assuming we ever get to the point where we have enough fuel to do that. I should tell you, I did put a couple of points into Miner 69er and Mother Load. That way we could be a little more efficient as we were grabbing that shale on the way back. And then, next on the list is let's go ahead and upgrade this guy because I do want to do that. Oh no, we made a... Why? Oh! 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 I see. We made two of them. I forgot about that. We were preparing for the future. The inevitable future in which we were going to be like, you know... I wouldn't mind having a second one of those. Two, three, one, two, three. I'm just looking to see what we have for ammunition because we are going to need to take care of that. We can do uh, maybe a stackish, Maybe a little more. I don't know. I think it's maybe like a couple few for each one. So whatever. It'll work out. It'll be okay. Not all that concerned at the moment. We should have more lead. I thought we picked up a bunch and brought it back. Did we not have it in here? I guess not. Well, that's fine here. Let's go ahead and take some of these guys. We'll do a little bit of upgrading work because I would like to do that. And then I don't know where the hammer went. I guess that's that's it. Don't we have some other upgradey device thing other than this guy? I guess not. I don't see one. I'm drawing a blank here. The pickaxe we need to get rid of. Yeah, I thought we had more of them. I guess not. Well, whatever, it doesn't matter. One of the things we're going to need to do probably in the next uh, couple episodes, if not today, is we need to kind of figure out what we're going to be using moving forward. We need to kind of finalize our build. At this point, we've kind of just taken advantage of being able to bounce around from weapon to weapon without having to, you know be too weak, but I kind of think we're getting to the point where I would prefer to have something that we're good at. It doesn't mean we can't use anything else. It just means I think we need to start looking at uh, maybe, maybe making a decision here about what we're going to do. Okay, let's go ahead and grab one of these guys. We're just going to copy that shape, and then we're going to put this guy... Uh, how do we do this? guess what we want to do is have it right there, which probably means I need to destroy a block, and that's fine. I wasn't wasn't thinking about having a landing pad, which, you know, that might be a good idea. And then let's copy the rotation here. There you go. That way we have somewhere to stand on when we're climbing up here. I mean, that only seems to make sense to me. And we'll go ahead and copy that shape, and we'll do one more down here. Oh, I guess I need to fix the rotation. Uh, yeah, just do that. That'll be fine. We'll make that work. That's fine. And then we probably should grab... I do like the look that we did over here. Where these guys uh, kind of... Finished things out a little bit. I want to make sure I grab the right one there. And then oh, I guess I probably should... Copy that rotation as well, huh? Nope. Nope. 
There you go, that one. One of these years, I will remember which button does which. For some reason, I just can never get it in my brain. And then because we're using that little landing pad, of course, we cannot kind of fill that gap right there. And that's okay, that's fine. I'm not, not super concerned about it. On the to-do list at some point is to replace the floor with uh, an actual floor. That's just not probably going to happen today. I'm still not entirely sure how I want to handle all the boxes here. Kind of would like to maybe have the stuff we don't use as often up here and keep the stuff we want to use more frequently down there. And that might just mean rearranging things into a different pattern down there. But for right now, that seems pretty acceptable. I do have some slight concerns, too, about the overall structural stability here of of these guys. I don't... Hi, I was trying to copy that shape. Like, I'm not sure that this will end up being okay. I mean, it, I think it should, but I'm never entirely sure with this game. I feel like I know how it's going to work, and then I go to build something and it all falls apart, so... Like this, probably need to upgrade a few of these guys so that there's something strong to hold on to for each of these, you know? So let me uh, take care of a few of these. I think that's about as much as I want to do on that for the moment. We'll, we'll kind of think about it a little bit. Oh. Oh. I just realized these have the railings on the wrong side. Well, I'll redo those on my own time, because, I mean, I knew when I was putting it down something was weird, but I just wasn't paying attention. I was thinking, eh, they'll fill in the way they're supposed to. They didn't. That's fine. I think I used the wrong block or something. It's okay. Because I do actually like the railing. I think it looks nice. What I'm debating is taking these guys out and putting another ladder up there so we can get up to the next level, assuming we're going to have need or want of a next level. And then I don't know if we'll end up needing to put something uh, right kind of in the middle here so that we have structural integrity. I mean, it's not a very wide place, so it probably is okay, but I don't know if these quarter blocks are as durable as standard blocks, so whatever. I'm not really going to worry about it all that much. This guy is done. We'll take our additional big old Funkin' several gallons of gas, or whatever it is, I don't know. Something along those lines. I want to grab this guy now and see what sort of mods we can put in there, because I genuinely don't remember what we can even put in this thing. Um, don't even know what I just did. I think I made another building block. Like, I have no idea what goes in this guy. Like, none of these things make sense. And yet, I don't know, whatever. I mean, seriously. We can put none of those in there. Okay. It's kind of what I thought, but, you know, whatever. I mean, maybe the, the pocket mod would make sense. Can you do any of these things? Like, it doesn't attack, so this, this shouldn't do any of these things. Okay. Yeah. I mean, that's what I thought, too. So, I don't even know what mods go in this guy. Like, I have no idea what mods you can put in this thing. Vehicle mods? Like, here, let's do robotic cargo mod. Okay, so there's a cargo mod for it. Well, that's two. And then what else? Robotic drone armor plating mod. Okay, so there are a couple of mods. And we can actually make that one. So let's... Honestly, I didn't even know we were wearing... Or we had that one. I don't think I've ever used the morale booster mod. Yeah, I don't think I ever have. So steel... All the things that we basically had last time that we needed. We need all of those again, I think. So, robotic... Let's do it this way. Robotic drone cargo mod. I'll go ahead and do that. We have all the things for this one, apparently, I guess. It's locked. I don't know why that one's lighting up. It's kind of weird to me, but whatever. Oh, the headlamp mod. Okay. So there are a few things we can put on that guy, but... I don't know, nothing that's really leaving me thunderstruck or awed or like, you know, we really need that. What can we do about buckshot? I think we need a ton of it, so we need a bunch of lead and a bunch of clay. We're just going to eject everything we can as buckshot. And then by the time this is done, you know, let's go ahead and grab what we have. We'll grab a little buckshot. We're going to grab this guy too, and I don't know where all the paper is. That was meant to go into a different one there. So if we wanted to make some shotgun 
We cannot make the box of shells. That's kind of a shame. So we're not going to get the most bang for our buck here. Oh, this one to one. Look at that. Okay. Uh, I meant to grab the gunpowder. I totally meant to grab it because, duh, I know you need gunpowder. I just, for whatever reason, I didn't grab it. Okay, so we're going to start cranking out some buckshot because we need to have more of it. And I probably should remember every time we talk to the vendors, if they got buckshot, just buy it. And when I say buckshot, what I actually mean is uh, shotgun shells. Like, I mean the full deal. Like, I don't even care. We should probably be buying all of them that they have. And I just, I, you know, I kind of forget. Let's go ahead and put this guy out. We'll let you, uh, Hi. There you go. How you doing, Mr. Start Robot Drone? Activated. Okay, so you have two rows of eight, it looks like. So let's go ahead and modify you. Uh, modify. Hmm. How do we modify you? We need Great to pick to you back up, you, don't Master. we? Um, I'll get it done. All systems go. How may with pleasure? Yeah, I need uh, that Where one. Are we going? There we go. My goodness. I know what I'm doing. I promise. I mean, I know we've already tried to do this before. So we'll put that in there and then see what that gives us for storage. Hi, how you doing? Power up complete. So that gives you one extra row. That's pretty handy, actually. I like that a lot. And then I think because it would be a good idea, what we're going to do is drop... We'll drop, uh, let's see, maybe one of these guys, one of those guys, one of those, and one of those into its inventory and we're not going to worry about loading it up in the last series like i literally just loaded this thing up with with medical supplies and that was its whole job was to just do that be a medical supplier type thing it was i don't know it was fine and we do have ourselves a solar panel we could put down this is not necessarily the best place i'm just saying we could put it right here Although, if we end up going with another level on this building, it might make sense to put it up a little higher. I knew there was a spot I had missed. Dang it, I, I walked around this building, but I didn't go on this side. Because I knew I had grabbed the cobblestone for a reason. My goodness. Okay. So, maybe we'll hold off on the solar for the moment. That'll probably, probably easy for me to say, be a project for the future. Uh, solar is kind of a big project. So we'll worry about that one down the road. But I think for now, I'm, I'm actually feeling okay about what we have done today. We kind of put ourselves in a position to, uh, you know, be successful in the future. And I know we talked yesterday, I think it was yesterday, about uh, potentially, oh goodness, I don't know what to do with this guy, the, the robotic drone we have. Or this one, the shooty drone. Okay, so there, we've already gone. We've got a bunch of them, so it doesn't matter. Talked about maybe picking a weapon and kind of having a little bit more direction for where we go. I think maybe we'll commit to that on the next one. I don't want to do that just yet. But for right now, we're going to call this one good. We will meet on the next one. We are going to go out and about and do some things. It was good to spend a day back at the base. Actually, I really enjoyed this. I feel like we got some stuff done. We will pick up on the next one. Catch you that one, Tillin. Thanks for watching. See you later.